Weeks ahead of the American presidential election, a new survey reveals consensus among voters for limitations on abortion. Commissioned by the Knights of Columbus, a Catholic fraternal organization, the sample of 1,700 Americans also compares the positions of practicing and non-practicing Catholics on a wide range of issues. In general, Catholics seem to mirror the general population in the United States. If you look beyond that just title of Catholic to Catholics who are practicing, that is they go to church once a week or once or twice a month versus Catholics who no longer practice their faith, there's a wide discrepancy. Some of the variances include how 59% of practicing Catholics self-identify as pro-life, whereas the number drops to only 29% for non-practicing Catholics. However, when asked during which trimester and for what reasons abortion should be permitted, only 8% of Americans favored unlimited abortion on demand. Even among pro-choice respondents, 71% supported significant restrictions. If you go beyond the labels, which we think now are very polarizing and misleading, if you go beyond those labels and ask individuals, well, what would you really like to see? There's a broad consensus, and it's a consensus directed against unrestricted abortion. So that's the big news, I think, in the United States. Still, while the survey shows that Americans would support a pro-life presidential candidate, even 60% of Catholics say that the economy is their top issue.